Hello and welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Friday, November 15th, 2013. Our first news item is uh, about Greg Palast. There is buzz that, well, it's actual reality that uh, Greg Palast's father is a first cousin of David Kimchi the British-born former Deputy Director of Israel's Mossad and Director General of the Foreign Ministry under Yitzhak Shamir. So there's some question about his integrity as a journalist. And here's another article from the Vatic Project. Greg Palast is related to Mossad Chief David Kimchi. And here is uh, Greg Palast's website. He presents himself as a guy, as a truth seeker, and you know he he has some facts and some decent articles, as most people who are trying to infiltrate <laughs> alternative media do. And I I want to take just a minute to consider. I think I've reached the conclusion that it's. It might be impossible to determine who is real and who is an infiltrator across the board because there's been a lot of money that's been thrown at this as Dutch Senses video attests and as other accounts reveal. And I, I think that going forward, because the alternative media does have such a following, there's going to be, and there already is, a huge effort to ascend to the top of that stack and be the alternative media that gets the most attention. And of course, as mainstream media has proven in the past, that has been able to be, be done with money. So they're throwing money at this. So if it's almost too difficult to determine what's real, who's real, because some of the, the infiltrators have solid information, I thought I've been th pondering this, and one uh, conclusion that I've arrived at is that they have a goal. There is they they want to move people who follow alternative media in a direction, and just for the sake of simplicity, I uh, came up with three words that all happen to begin with D, just so they're easier to remember. I believe that the goal of infiltrating the alternative media is to distract, divert, and depress. Now, distract and divert might seem like the same idea, and to some extent they are. However, distracting, I think, is more in the moment, uh, distract someone's attention, overwhelm people with facts and ideas so that uh, we can't make decisions that are effective and can't settle on a goal that can be accomplished. Whereas divert is more of a divert our energy, you know, get us to sign petitions or attend meetings that really will not lead to any kind of uh, freer nation or bring us any closer to a constitutional republic or you know liberty and justice for all to make it even more simple and the other goal is to depress us and I believe this is accomplished through articles and and ideas that uh, Im implant either extreme fear or extreme hope that we're on this constant pendulum swing between uh, feeling overwhelmed, that this is too big, we can't do anything, and being underwhelmed by thoughts that, okay, somebody else is handling it, I don't have to do anything. And th that would be the hope, and the fear would be, it's too big, I can't do anything. And the result here is that we are just frozen. We don't do anything, and I'm calling it depressed because... That is what happens to us uh, when we ride this pendulum swing. We become depressed. We decide that we don't want to know any more about it. And this is also uh, 
defeating the goal, the ultimate goal of distract that we we become overwhelmed and by the alternative media information and say, okay, I'm just going to go watch TV or, you know, I, I think I'll turn on Fox and see what's going on there. Um, so, as I stated, this, in my mind, it, are the goals, these are the goals of people infiltrating the alternative media. And even if we can't sort out who is telling the truth all the time and who is lying, who are the infiltrators and who's the real deal, we can at least monitor ourselves and see what impact these different news sources have on us. If we find ourselves becoming depressed, being diverted, being distracted, not being able to gain any traction in our thoughts or in our communications with other people, then maybe we are listening to some of the wrong sources, reading some of the wrong sources. And in light of that, I want to note this Benjamin Fulford update, Galactic Connection. Uh, this does, is not quite the same as what was posted on Benjamin's website. And my husband found this, and, and it showed up in a couple different places. So there's kind of a question in our minds, is, is somebody masquerading as Fulford? Did he, in fact, write another blog somewhere else? Or did somebody uh, maybe take comments that he made in a video and transcribe them? Difficult to tell. But all that to just reinforce the idea that uh, it, at this time, uh, it's, it's almost impossible to vet exactly what sources are reliable. Personally, I tend to accept what is on InfoWars because I, I know that Alex uh, has a degree of integrity that he wants to uphold and I know they vet things and I've, you know, they, they won't say something unless they can prove it. And that is definitely helpful. And we, we might not get all the extreme, you know, uh, the Republic is, is re no, they're really taking over. The, the Republic is really going to be restored tonight. We might not get the Republic news and, and the global financial reset news and things of that nature from Alex. That is because he can't necessarily vet those things. Or if he can, maybe he's sworn to secrecy. Who knows? But just middle of the road solid information I believe that InfoWars can be depended upon and this is a kind of an extreme article from InfoWars but definitely solid and vetted report Obama is an actor trained by Harry Lennox and I mentioned this yesterday uh, but there's there's just more information here and if you watch this video there are some photos of Lennox with Obama to substantiate this story and uh, definitely relevant, significant, and hopefully we can do something about Obama being the president. Maybe, I, I'm not sure how far impeachment will go with the Congress, but hopefully there will be some kind of a lawful approach that can be taken. And here's an interesting article that I can't vet. <laughs> uh, this, this may fall into the false hope category. I'm not really sure. And as I mentioned the other day, I cited something from this website, Political Velcraft. I don't really know anything about them. If, if anyone who happens to see this video does, I would appreciate you leaving me a comment. But this article states, U.S. sheriffs rise up against federal government. Sheriff threatens feds with SWAT team. Grassroots take charge. This is, this is the kind of thing I believe that we are hoping for. That uh, people who are sworn to uphold the law will begin to uphold the law and defend the Constitution and... In that manner, I mean, if it can come up through the grassroots that way, uh, there might be some mess when it gets closer to the top. 
but this this seems like a clean approach to some of these problems and there are a lot of other links that caught my eye today and my computer will have an absolute meltdown if I click on all of them so I'm just going to run through some of these real quickly some uh, links that I saw on network blogs and I will give the full web address in the notes in the details for the video Liberty Blitzkrieg, the UK's Conservative Party has erased a decade worth of speeches from the web. Here from Blacklisted News, Ohio lawmakers want to limit use of drones by law enforcement. And a little bit further down this list you'll see that Germany is deciding not to use drones. Blacklisted News, also this article, your cell phone number could be blocked if you receive a low phone ID score. This is like a credit score, right? Uh, you can't get credit if you have a low credit score. Well, no, you're not going to be able to use your cell phone if you have a low phone ID score. So get ready for that. Another article from Blacklisted News, How to Prosecute the Elite Bank CEO That Led the Frauds That Drove the Crisis. Sounds like another good approach to having our rule of law restored. Here from Washington's blog, Germany says no to weaponized drones. Fabulous. I thought that was really good news. From What Really Happened, here's an article. Our government has weaponized the Internet. Here's how they did it. And Sign of the Times had an article that seemed attention-worthy to me. We reject illegal killings. Germany suspends drone purchase. So more substantiation for that German drone story. From legit government, CIA secretly collecting data on money transfers into and out of United States, officials say. And I guess we could guess that based on Chase a few weeks ago telling some business customers that they can no longer transfer money out of the country. But they can, of course, transfer it into Chase. How convenient. From Privacy Online News, our seven privacies, the many important facets of privacy. From Natural News, Convicted felons to become Obamacare navigators. And if you'll remember, I had that video from the other day of the navigators encouraging people to lie when they sign up for Obamacare. From Sherry questioning all, searching for truth, self-creation, and trying to discriminate between lies mixed with truth, what I desire, deserve, understandings. So that kind of goes along with my rundown of the alternative media being infiltrated and how should we process what we're actually going to believe. And here is some interesting information. Activist Post had an article, Dutch Sense Video Prompts Filipino Scientists to Deny Geophysics and Harp Technology. Dutch Sense has had a little private battle going on over a video that he made and uh, I, I saw a link to his video. I have not watched it yet, but I think it's something like an hour and seven minutes. So he really uh, put in some time and was very intentional about, intentional about explaining his conclusions. And here's another article about that from 2012, The Big Picture. Aha! Typhoon Yolanda was a false flag. Australia said no to the climate change tax. So if you want a rabbit hole to dive into, I guess you can look into the typhoon. Find out what that's all about. And here from EFF, a floor, not a ceiling. Supporting the USA Freedom Act as a step toward less surveillance. All great articles. <coughs> And here I'm ending with this bit of good news. It's not really news, but it might be news to you. There is a website that sells 
only made in USA products. And you can find some great things here. I'm just thinking if people are beginning to think about Christmas shopping and you want to do it with a more clear conscience, having purchased American-made products, this is a source for some of those. And I know this might not impress you, but if you scroll down, you can see that there are different categories here. And we have found some wonderful gifts there in the past. So hopefully you will as well and enjoy learning about that option for Christmas shopping this year. Thanks for tuning in for today's news. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will have a great weekend, that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.